So let's sit up on something like a block or a pillow. And lift up tall through the spine. And then reach the crown of the head toward the ceiling. And drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Draw the navel in slightly and let the tailbone drop into what you're sitting on. So really it's abdominals and not back muscles holding you up. And then we'll tuck the chin in slightly toward the neck, bringing the ears over the shoulders. So this is the alignment you would want to find yourself in as much as possible to keep the spine in an ideal alignment for good energy flow and less muscle fatigue. So we'll practice this for a moment. So we're drawing in through here, lifting up through the chest, and relaxing the legs and the arms. And then we'll start to take some deep breaths. So as you breathe in, let the breath move to the bottom of the lungs. And then slowly release the air, draw the navel back toward the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Good, again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, filling up as much as you can. Exhale, push the air out, draw the navel toward the spine. Good. We're going to also breathe into the sides of the lungs. So filling the front first, then the sides. Exhale, release, draw the navel toward the spine. Filling the front first, then the sides. Exhale, navel to spine. We'll do this a few more times. Inhale, front, sides, exhale, slowly release. Again, inhale, sides, exhale. Last one, inhale, filling up the front. Sides, and exhale slowly, good, we're going to drop the chin down toward the chest, let the weight of the head drop forward, feeling the stretch in the back of the neck, continue breathing fully, and this time direct the breath up into the space between the shoulder blades. Take one more breath here. And then we'll bring the right ear over the right shoulder, face facing forward, jaw relaxed. Deep breaths.
can feel that stretch happening on the left side of the neck toward the left shoulder. One more deep breath here. And swing the chin down to the chest. Take another deep breath between the shoulder blades. And then bring the left ear over the left shoulder. Face facing forward, jaw relaxed. more breaths. And then drop the chin down to the chest again, breathing between the shoulder blades. And then we'll swing the head over to the right. Exhale, chin to chest, inhale to the left, and chin to chest. Inhale over right, chin to chest, inhale over left, and chin to chest. One more time, to the right, and down, and the left, and down. And then slowly lift the head up. So we'll work on the shoulders now, rotating in circles. Good. And then circles the other way. Inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers, lift. As you lift the upper body, send the tailbone and the sit bones down. Taking a few deep breaths. Good, let's bend to one side. Breathing deeply into that side that's bent outward to the exposed side. Good, coming back up, inhale, and then over to the other side. Back up one more time. And up, and the other side, and up. Palms together, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows toward the top of the head, touch the spine with the thumbs, and push the head against the forearms, lifting the elbows. Let's take a few deep breaths. Good, let's bring the arms down behind the back, clasping the forearms or the elbows, whatever you're able to reach, and lift the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Relax the low back, sending the tailbone down, and take deep breaths.
Okay, and let's release that grip, interlace the fingers behind the back, stretch the arms out and up and open the chest. Deep breaths. Chin up, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And release. We're going to cross the right arm over the left at the elbow, bend the elbows, and hook the hands somehow. Push those elbows forward, drop the chin down, and let's breathe between the shoulder blades. And then release this grip and send the heels of the hands away. Spread the fingers, flex the wrists, relax the shoulders, and breathe. Okay, let's cross the left elbow over the right now. Hooking the hands, press the elbows forward, drop the chin. Deep breaths. And then release this, send the heels of the hands away one more time. Drop the shoulders, flex the wrists, deepen the breath. Good, okay, bring the hands together, interlace the fingers, we'll roll the wrists, warming them up, preparing them for weight bearing. And then go the other way. And then send the hands forward, tuck the thumbs, wrap the fingers around the thumbs, and circle the wrists. Good, and then the other way. Great, pull all the fingers back on one hand. All right, try to get the thumb in there too. Deep breaths. And then we'll switch. Make sure the elbows straighten. shake it out. We're going to come on to the floor. We're just going to do a little ankle and foot rotation. So I'm going to turn this way. I think you'll still be able to see very well. Um, so we're going to flex the feet and separate the toes and point the toes and flex and separate, making as much space between each toe as possible. And point one more time. Flex and separate the toes and point. And then part the feet a little. We'll make circles with the ankles. Big circles. Good. And then circles the other way. 
and then bring the soles of the feet together and we're going to hinge forward we won't be here very long just getting a little bit of a hip opener before we start drop the head and breathe into the back Lean over to the right side a little bit. Take a few breaths here. side a little bit. And then we'll come back to center and then roll up slowly. And we're going to come onto the hands and the knees. So make sure you have a cushiony enough surface under the knees. If you don't, you maybe want to lay a blanket under the knees. So we're coming into table position. So the wrists are under the shoulders and the knees are under the hips. And we'll just start by arching, looking up, inhale. Exhale, round the back, tuck the pelvis and the chin, and release. Inhale, let the chest drop between the shoulder blades. Exhale, round the back, curving the spine. Inhale, arch, lifting up. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And exhale round. Come back to neutral. 
We'll look over the right shoulder at the right foot, taking a side bend, deep breath, and come back to center, exhale. Looking over left shoulder at the left foot, deep breath, exhale, center. Inhale over right, and center, and left, and center. Okay, we're going to plant the tops of the feet down into the floor. Reach the right arm forward and the left leg back. Push out of that left shoulder. Good, breathe. And bring it down. Inhale, switch left arm, right leg up. Push out of that right shoulder. Good, bring it down. One more time each side. Switching left. And down. And switch left. And down, very good. Bring your toes under and sit back toward the heels, but don't move the hands and breathe. Just stretching the backs of the feet a little bit. Stretching out the toes. And then from here, you can push back into downward dog. So just extend the legs, sending the heels toward the floor, tailbone toward the ceiling. We'll take a few breaths here. And then we're gonna walk the feet towards the hands. We're going to come into a standing forward bend or any version of it that works for you. The knees do not have to be straight. I'm just going to hang here for a few breaths. And then bend the knees and slowly roll up. And come to stand. So we're gonna do some slow sun salutations and we're gonna add some pieces to it. Nothing crazy. Inhale, hands together at the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up and back, bend the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, fall forward all the way down. And then we're going to step the right foot back, knee down, chest forward, and breathe. And then from here, we'll step back into plank pose, holding plank either from the toes or the knees, draw the navel toward the spine, and push out of your shoulders, and breathe. We're going to come down. You can come down any which way you like. I'll show you various ways. You're just going to lower yourself easy by bending the elbows and slinking the body down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog.
Inhale, right foot steps forward between the hands, put the knee down, chest forward. Breathing deeply. And then we'll step forward into standing forward bend. Drop the head. Take a breath. And when you're ready, bend the knees. We're coming into chair pose. Good. Exhale, come to stand. Inhale, hands at the heart. Exhale. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, left foot steps back, knee down. Keep your left hand on the floor and reach back with the right hand. Deep breaths. Really let those hips sink. Good. Hands to the floor, stepping back into plank. Full body plank. Either from the knees or the toes, press out of the shoulders, navel to spine. And then this is another way down, knees to the floor. And maybe then you kept the butt up and the chest down, and then you come through into cobra. And then downward facing dog. And then left foot steps forward. Keep the right hand down and reach back with the left hand. Great, bring the hands back down, stepping forward, standing forward, bend, drop the head. Deep breath, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. You want to be able to see your toes slightly, so that's how far back you sit. And then exhale, come to stand. Good. Inhale, hands together at the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, right foot steps back. Bring the knee down, but bring your hands to your front knee. Swing those hips forward and pull the right hip forward and the left hip back, pressing down into that left heel. Reach up. Hands to the floor, stepping back into plank. Now, you can stay here in full body or we can come into right-sided, which means you have some options as well. Bringing the left foot forward, coming onto the right arm, lifting the left arm. This is one option. You can also pile your feet. And then we'll come down to full plank. You can lower again another way, full body all the way down. Inhale, Cobra, and exhale, Downward Dog. This time we're going to lift the right leg toward the ceiling. And then step it between the hands. Bring the back knee down, hands to the front knee. Pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. Press down into that right heel and then lift the arms. Hands to the floor, stepping forward into standing forward bend. Drop the head, take a deep breath. Bend the knees into chair. Remember, you gotta be able to see your toes. Exhale, come to stand. In chair pose, you don't wanna be using the back you want to use only the legs, so point the tailbone down. Inhale, hands to the heart, exhale. 
Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fall forward. Left foot steps back. This time we're gonna keep the knee up and we're gonna come into runner's lunge. We're leaning forward, but we're still creating space between the belly and the thigh. We're not leaning in, we're pushing down into that right heel, breathe. Hands to the floor, stepping back into plank. You can do left-sided if you wish. Here's one way, bringing the right foot forward and lifting the right arm. You can also pile the feet if you feel like this is stable in your shoulder. And then bring both hands to the floor. Exhale, lower however you wish. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg reaches up to the ceiling. Step it through the hands and keep the back knee up coming into runner's lunge on the left side. Creating space between the thigh and the belly. Press into that left heel and breathe. Good, hands to the floor, stepping forward. Drop the head, take a deep breath. Bend the knees deeply, chair pose. Remember to point the tailbone down and sit back so you can see the toes. Exhale, come to state. Okay, we're on our last round now. Inhale, hands together with the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fall forward. This time you're gonna lift the right leg toward the ceiling. Maybe find balance on your standing foot. If possible. Release the hands from the floor for a moment. And then let's place the hands back on the floor, step that right foot back, turn the heel down, and coming up into warrior two. Bend that front knee, press into the outer edge of the back foot, drop the shoulders, spin the thighs back. So you're rotating them back and creating this kind of plug-in for the thighs into the hips. Good, bring your, your left forearm to your left thigh and your right arm way up over the ear. Long line on the right side. And then we'll come into Exalted Warrior, lifting the chest and the left arm. Good. And then we'll come into a triangle. So straighten the leg, arms out to the side, draw the navel in, squeeze the legs like they're coming together, and then shift the body to the left. Tip the arms vertically. Breathe. Maybe even reach that right arm long over the ear. Good, bring both hands to the floor. Lift the back heel and straighten the front leg. Let the head drop. And then we'll step back into plank. So I think we're gonna just do whichever you wish here. You can do full body, you can do side plank. You now have an idea of how to do it. Exhale, lower slowly. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up to the ceiling. Steps between the hands, turn the back heel down, coming up into warrior two. Outer edge of that foot is pressing down. Bend that right knee. Bring your forearm to your thigh, sweep your left arm way up over the ear.
And then exalted warrior lifting the right arm. And then straightening up the legs, drawing them together, navel to spine, shift the ribs over the thigh and come vertically with the arms, breathing. You're not really resting this hand. Uh, you're not pushing into the leg. And then you might even bring that left arm over your ear. And then bring both hands down to the floor, lift the back heel, straighten the front knee. And step forward, drop the head. Bend the knees, chair pose. Tuck the pelvis slightly. Exhale, come to stand. This is our last side. We're gonna do things just a little bit more lightly. Inhale, hands together at the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, fall forward. This time we're gonna lift the left leg and find balance on the right foot. And then we'll bring that left foot down and we're going to come into high lunge. Palms together, twisting to the right. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your knee. Press into the palms, twisting the body. Good, hands to the floor, stepping back into plank, either side plank or full body. And then we're getting ready to exhale and lower. So come down slowly. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg reaches up. Steps between the hands. Keep the back heel up, coming into high lunge. Good, I'm gonna twist to the left, palms together. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press into the palms and twist. And then hands to the floor. Step forward, drop the head. Let's take a few breaths here. chair pose, bending the knees, tucking the pelvis, sitting back, breathing. And exhale, come to stand. Good. We're going to rise up onto the toes. And then bend the knees, slowly coming down. And then make your way onto your back. And we'll take a little rest.
take a few more deep breaths here. Plow pose. So bring the legs together, palms to the floor, lift the legs up over the head, bring the hands onto the back, shimmy the shoulders and the elbows close together, and then let the legs drop. Keep your face facing up, so just listen rather than look now. Deep breaths, jaw relaxed. And then extend the legs back as far as you can, flexing the feet, bringing the toes toward you and the heels away. And then we'll lift the right leg up toward the ceiling. Bring it down, your left leg toward the ceiling. And bring it down. And then both legs toward the ceiling. Keep the weight in the elbows. Squeeze the buttocks. Relax the face, the jaw, the feet. Breathe. And when you're ready, you're going to lower the legs back over the head, hands to the floor. Use them as brakes. Use your abdominal muscles to lower you down slowly. And then hug the knees right into the chest. Take a few breaths here. And then we'll place the feet on the floor, toes pointing straight forward so the feet are parallel and probably as wide apart as your thigh bones are coming out from the hips. And from here, we're gonna press down into the feet and lift the hips up, shimmy the shoulders under the back, interlace the fingers if possible, and lift those hips and breathe. Maybe you could stay here, or maybe you can bring your palms to the floor beside your ears, fingers pointing towards your shoulders, maybe come to the top of the head, or maybe push off onto the hands. And 
and then tuck the chin to the chest and roll out slowly. And bring the knees in for another hug. You can rock if you like. And then we'll extend the legs. And we're going to come into a traditional fish, something we don't do too often. So we're going to walk the hands under the body like you're lying on them. The arms are straight and squeeze the shoulders together behind you. Palms are on the floor and the hands are not on top of each other. Rise onto your elbows, lift the chest, bring the top of the head to the floor but rest it lightly only and use the shoulders and the arms to support you. Breathe deeply into the chest. One more breath. Then lift the head, look at the toes, roll back out, and remove the hands and rest for a moment. Prepare for twist. Bringing the knees into the chest, give them a hug. And then we're going to lower the legs over to the left side, opening up the right arm, letting that right shoulder drop. And you can hold your top knee with your left hand if you like. And we'll be here for a little while, breathing deeply, gazing over towards your right hand. Deep breaths, filling the back. If you want, you can wrap your top leg around your bottom leg to come in a bit deeper, but this is just an option. Take three more deep breaths. And then draw the navel toward the spine, bring the knees into the chest, give them a hug. And when you're ready, we're going to let the legs drop over to the right side. And you can use your right hand to hold the top knee and extend the left arm, dropping the left shoulder. And you can turn your gaze toward the left hand if you like. 
course, we're breathing deeply into the back. Maybe you'll want to cross and wrap that top leg around the bottom leg. Take another three long deep breaths here. Draw the navel to the spine, bring the knees to the chest, give them a hug. So I'm going to give you an option for your last pose. You might want to have a low back release, and in that case, you're going to lift the hips and place the block under the pelvis, parting the feet, dropping the knees in. But you might prefer to have an upper back release today. And in that case, if you don't have a block, by the way, use a rolled blanket or a pillow. You can put that block behind you and when you lay over it, it's going to be just under the shoulder blades. And the head and shoulders are reaching back toward the floor. Shoulders may not touch, that's okay. And we'll be here for the last few minutes taking long deep breaths. Relax the jaw and soften the eyes back into their sockets. Deepen the breath.
Gently rock the head from side to side. And then stop on one side for a couple of breaths. Go to the other side for a few breaths. And then bring the head to center. If your block is under your pelvis, remove the block. If you're on your back with the block under the upper back, you're just going to roll off to one side. We're actually all going to roll off to one side now. And then take your time pushing yourself up, rounding the back, letting the head hang. And come to sit in a comfortable position. So we're going to close with three ohms. Let's bring the hands together at the heart, sitting up tall. Take a deep breath. Namaste.